you guys, um, I'm gonna show you how to get Hotmail to work on your, I might as well take this off, Hotmail to work on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So I have my iPod Touch right here, still in condition, just got it. Um, yeah. So what you need is obviously an iTunes account and stuff, and you need to get this app called Mbox Mail. Um, unfortunately, it's you have to pay. It's ten bucks. It's um, it's an okay app, right? So, I'll show you it right now. So I have it installed. And oops, here, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna log off. Actually, no, I'm already logged in. So what you do when you start up, uh, it says your name. Who cares about your name? You don't need that. Then enter your Hotmail address. You need that and your password. It's all good. Click Sync Mail, and it's gonna get all your mail from there. So if you go to Inbox. It basically shows all your emails. So I have some Facebook, some iTunes store shit, um, YouTube. So if we want to write a message, you click that and click that arrow to choose whoever you want to write it to. So you have to punch it in your uh, your contacts application. You could attach things to uh, stuff from your photo library. Um, you could let's see you click that it refreshes it uh, there's your folders you know um, your drafts stuff that you saved but you didn't send yet all your send messages and your deleted messages and then if you heard that that means I got a new email Sweet, okay, whatever, if this is you, yeah, that guy, thank you, thank you, awesome review, thank you, um, yeah, that's from YouTube, it's a really cool app, actually, um, no offense, Apple, I'm kind of, I was kind of, I really hated you, because you didn't have, oh, this is my, uh, Gmail, you didn't have, um, what's it called, Hotmail, in your, in your mail app, so then, just got this. Also, this is way better than easy mail, guys. Trust me, it's way better. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. Also, if you go to settings, and then you go down, and then it's once come up here, and yeah, and then you can choose um, how many you want to actually see. Twenty-five recent mail, two hundred recent mail. Um, always be CC to myself. So if you're sending an email. You want to always send to yourself to see if it works or anything. Um, they'll always ask you if when you click delete. There's new mail. The sound will go on and off. I like it. Send mail diagnostic. By turning off diagnostic mode, you are oh, and for the application to send debug logs. I seriously don't know what that means. So. Whenever I see something that I don't know what it means, I usually not don't want to tinker with it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's go back here. It's pretty cool, you know. It's obviously not. It's not as great as the uh, mail app, but yeah. And also, see if you go back to the app store, and then it'll say some pros and cons or something no actually I saw that on the internet but it said that you cannot uh, send messages no open messages that are like a one megabyte or higher or something like that but yeah this is pretty good if you're willing to pay ten dollars to actually use hotmail on your iPhone or iPod touch I suggest you get it but it has to be on your credit card not a uh, iTunes card which is really gay so yeah, thanks for watching.